So, hello, Destiny from Malta. How are you going? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? Uh, yes, yeah, the same here. Uh, can't wait for the Eurovision. I hope uh, it's the same, same for you. Here. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Destiny is a very young singer, 19 years old. Uh, 18. 18. 18. Oh, oh yeah. even better. <laughs> but you have already won the Univision Song Contest uh, 2015 yes. and yes. Uh, last year uh, you have been selected by uh, the Maltese broadcaster uh, to represent Malta in Rotterdam unfortunately it yes. was cancelled um, so uh, due to corona pandemic so yes. um, this year you have another chance uh, with uh, the electro swing number Je me casse uh, to win the Eurovision Song Contest. So, um, Destiny, um, my first question would be, uh, when the contest has been cancelled last year, what was your first reaction? I must be honest, I was quite sad for a period of my life. I was, to be honest, I was with my mom. I used to cry a lot. I felt like it, my dream <laughs> didn't come through so it was a bit it was a sad moment in my life but obviously there's always a silver lining in everyone's life and so if it wasn't if it ha hadn't to be cancelled last year I wouldn't mm. have yeah. came up with this, I wouldn't have this amazing song yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so I think it's like you have to always think about the future and focus on yourself and no matter what in life, you just need to keep on working hard. Mm. Since your victory in the Univision Song Contest, um, what has changed so far in your life? What has changed in my life? So I think personally, um, on like a personal basis, I'm talking, my life has changed because I believe more in myself and I feel more confident and mm -hmm. now I accepted myself and who I am and just I just want to let everyone out there, I want to make people feel beautiful and confident, I want everyone to know they're beautiful, so I think it gave me a lot of confidence and yes, I believe more in myself mm -hmm. and even as an artist, I think that it helped me because I grew artistically as well. Okay. Uh, you have already participated in so many uh, TV shows and competitions like X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, etc. Uh, what kind of experience can you take from that for your uh, stage show uh, in Rotterdam? Um, obviously, that because of the experience I already have, I'm going to be much Prepare. I'm going to be well prepared. So mm -hmm. I think that getting into these kind of competitions helps you grow and maintain that like boost, that confidence boost you need on a stage. That's why it's very important to participate in mm -hmm. local festivals and obviously international festivals because it gives you like the audience vibe and you like performing on an actual stage with in years testing everything so it's good yes it gives you it makes you more prepared of what you can expect yeah i can imagine uh and if you compare the junior eurovision with the real eurovision or the regular Re eurovision song contest yeah. is it a different feeling uh, or is it the same it's more or less the same obviously because they're both events that unite people together but the only difference is that when you're younger you don't feel like the pressure and stress you're just yeah. going up there to sing and you don't think about anything else nowadays i have to focus on everything going up around around yeah. me so i have to be more like mm, you have to do that you have to do that you have to do that so it's a bit more like um, it's a bigger event you know what i mean so you have to stay more focused and you have to be mentally prepared for all the things that will happen over there and um, that's the difference i think in my opinion uh, yeah. uh, you already got a little experience, or not a little, you got an experience uh, as a backing singer uh, 2019, yes. uh, accompanying Michaela Pace um, yeah. with Chameleon. You haven't been seen on stage, but uh, I just listened to it yesterday and I must say uh, I can hear you. <laughs> you can hear me. <laughs> uh, 
How did you enjoy that uh, atmosphere with a re regular Eurovision, uh, not uh, Corona it was, success? It was, it was incredible. And I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to experience Eurovision without COVID and without restrictions because it mm. was a great experience. Obviously, when Michaela reached out to me, it was like, a definite and definite yes she's my friend so i really oh. wanted to back her up and i wanted to be there for her in her journey and i think she she was incredible i love mm. michaela and mm. she's an incredible artist so like when i had this opportunity i was like yes definitely i want mm. to help her and be with her and i'm very glad i took that opportunity because mm. i saw eurovision without restrictions and actually having the eurovision normally yeah uh, have you ever met chiara in malta yes of course ah. i sang with her as well oh lovely uh, did she give you any advice so far what you... yes i mean i mean she is such a lovely person chiara and she's she's an amazing artist also oh. i mean her advice would definitely be to stay humble because mm. i think that's the key to success if you stay humble and yeah. keep your feet to the ground and obviously her advice would be also to enjoy my three minutes mm. on stage because they are priceless you know <laughs> yeah good and, and how would you describe your own music style what, what is your preference? my music style if i had to describe my type of music and the music i bring out to the people it would have to be soul pop mm -hmm. yeah okay do you have any idols uh some any singers you yes, like most i have three idols three idols in my life my three inspirations are lizzo arita franklin and beyonce uh beyonce yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah it's great uh and um you already heard that you will also belong to the big favorites this year um did you or can you imagine uh if you really be the winner this year uh and all the pressure how do you cope with it um is it complicated or do you feel are you do you feel nervous or do you just take it easy um to be honest i don't stay checking the odds because personally i think if you stay checking the odds it puts a bit of pressure and you don't mm. want to stop focusing on the performance to just stay saying oh my god i'm first i'm second i'm third i'm fourth i mean it's something that odds will always be odds all odds are always there so mm. you just need to focus on yourself that's that's what i think is best to focus on yourself and focus on what you'll bring to the stage and whatever mm. happens will just happen i mean obviously i think this year we're doing really well Mm -hmm. is doing really well but um uh, i don't want to put my hopes up and then i'd feel like sad mm. about it so i'm just going there with an open mind whatever happens happens i'm just going to enjoy my experience and my journey over there i'm just i'm still 18 years old i mean yeah it's so yeah are you a little bit afraid that you cannot maybe uh utilize all the things Eurovision has to offer all the receptions of all course, the parties I mean, and I mean yes I will miss the parties definitely mm. definitely the parties and the touring those I missed a lot but um, who knows maybe it's destiny <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe yeah it's just, you know it's a crazy time for everybody i think yeah. so we all have to do the best i yeah are you happy that that at least 3500 people can be in the arena i'm so. very happy at least i'm gonna have a small crowd to perform too. so that's yeah. that's something very good yeah so you know <laughs> but if you win uh really uh you would be the first singer ever to win the junior EC and the normal EC, yeah. that, that would be you will be in the books of records somehow, and uh, that would be amazing. And Thank you. We really wish you the best of luck. Thank that you, you really enjoy it. Uh, that you make the best of it. That you get a lot of points from all the countries, and that you, Thank you. maybe Thank you. capture all the hearts. Uh, I, I think you have a great voice and a great charisma. You're so young, and uh, this is a great experience for you. I hope you, you really you. make the best of it. All the best. Do you have some Thank last words so for our viewers? Yes, of course. I would love to thank you all for your support.
support i it really means a lot to me because mm-hmm. your love your love is so incredible all the love i receive and all the messages you send me there you are all incredible i hope you like my songs on my cast and i hope you vote for me i love you oh.